Hi everybody, I come from a very large lorry today. <laughs> um, how does this work then? Uh, huh, we're going to a show, taking Mo and Obi, and when we take Mo and Obi, we take a big truck. So, that's why I'm in a big lorry. It doesn't really look like it, but it sounds like it, I'm sure. Anyway, just swapped with Michelle. She's got my car. I've got this. She is coming to the show. Anyway, we're going show jumping. Whoop! Taking Mo. Oh, can't wait. She's been feeling really good. So, really excited. Anyway, right, I'm going to go and drive now, and I will see you guys in a little bit when we're getting ready to leave. Welcome back to the YouTube or whatever we do here. Made it in one piece to the yard. So easy to drive this lorry. This lorry actually is for sale. So if anybody is looking for a like beautiful seven and a half ton, then uh, let me know. I'll put the details, the contact details below and I might just uh, give you a little tour today. It's an automatic. So for a little lady like me, it's really nice to drive. Anyway, right, I'm gonna go and pack the stuff and get the horses sorted and um, we're leaving at about half past nine and it's about 20 past eight or something now so not that long to get any ready anyway off i go so i'm just giving my tack a very quick clean this is my go-to leovet leather foam uh it's really good cleans nourishes and makes leather shine and i'll tell you what it actually is very good it um like doesn't leave it feeling like sticky but it does it leaves it feeling soft and I've just wiped over this bridle, I the light in here is awful, so you probably can't even see. But it also takes the grease off at, you know, at the same time. So like, grease off, moisture in. Which for me, in a hurry, on a show morning, is perfect. So as you can see, this is pretty dirty. Look at this. Gross. Right? And then, I'll show you the after. So I've literally just, what is wrong with this camera today? literally just squirt a bit on like that so I've squirted a bit on like that and I'm just gonna wipe it all the way down and show you what it does so that is where I have wiped and that is where I haven't and that if only you kind of could see the time gap but it's very short very quick very easy to use and very effective and good for your tack. So, winning from Leovet. So, I said I'd give you guys a bit of a tour of the lorry. So this is the underneath locker. There are no um, lockers in the horse section, as you can see. So that is why you have this beautiful big locker here. You can, there's actually space for three saddles because there's another rack down here lots of bridle pegs and loads of storage space you know if you're going away feed all the rest of it so yeah that is just one of the many great things about this lorry um shutting that off now um and then i'll show you the back before i put anything else in it including horses it is huge so it's stalled for three big horses and the payload does take three because uh, the living is very very lightweight so we're only taking two today so I've moved that last partition over so that Mo who travels in the middle can have extra space she likes having lots of space that is her jam so yeah it's an amazing lorry really so like I said anybody interested hit me up in the DMs got a little poo stain my favourite we're using a bit of this Literally spray it on, just like that. We have a damp, semi clean cloth, literally gone in 60 seconds. I think it's a film, isn't it? <laughs> anyway, this stuff is the best and saves a lot of leg washing in the middle of winter because nobody likes doing that. And nor does Obi, do you, mate? Got a good PI. Oh, good boy. <laughs> right, oh God, that's a bad way to hold your phone. Uh, Laurie is nearly ready. We need to put some boots on him. I'm just thinking out loud. I did mean to do a little bit 
bit of uh, we're on our way, but me and Michelle got chatting. Um, so yeah, we're nearly there. They look a bit steamy in the back. <laughs> I think it's quite warm in the back, bless them. So yeah, it's not raining. Oh, is it actually just started raining as I said that? Just started. Anyway, we're indoors, so it's not so bad. Two cl uh, one class each, and then that's what we're doing. We're just jumping the meter because it's been a little while since we've been out. I gave them a little jump at home actually the other day, both of them, um, just some cavaletti and that kind of thing, and they were both a bit fresh. So yeah, hopefully they are feeling good today. We had a good show last time we were here, so yeah, feeling positive. We have made it. Car park is delightful it's as ever. I'm busy. <laughs> we're ready to go. It's okay, you can be in the video. In our Equitex, Sam Shield stirrups, all the fancy gear. popular request I'm back with the voiceovers uh, so this is I'm actually just cantering around to fence three as you guys will learn Michelle is not the finest videographer so I just take what I can get Obi felt great and I was really riding down my distances that's a five stride distance and I was like right come on I'm going for it and he really like listened and it was good but it meant I was then going a bit forward so then I backed him off around the corner and I think because of all the work we've been doing in the flat work his collection is much better so I brought him up back around the corner to that number five and he just uh, ended up having the back rail because I was just going too slowly I made sure I was not riding slowly to this double here but he did just have you know four faults there which was a pity and the course was a bit strange you kind of have to go round in a circle like that he got a bit strong here but he came back and he listened I made sure not to take such a strong half halt just let him roll around the corner here to number 10 and then it was a good, nice, easy four strides. One, two, three, four, up to the style fence. Not a great place for videoing, guys. Again, I'm really sorry about this. I've, yeah. And then back on yourself to number 12 and he didn't have any more fences down, so I was really, really pleased with him. But um, yeah, annoyed at myself for that error there. That was a bit of a shame, definitely my fault. I um, basically just rode far too quietly to number five and he couldn't make the distance out. Other than that, wow, I can't do this one-handed. Pretty faultless, so I'm pleased with him and he had the best time ever. So that's the most important thing. Did you have fun? He says, yes, I did. <laughs> you always have fun. You got quite strong around the end, didn't you? But um, yeah, lovely. I think we need to jump bigger jumps. Maybe we'll both come out and do the newcomers next time. Mo too, depending on how she feels today. Just bought a pair of boots. Oh God, what am I doing? I just bought a pair of Ariats. They're, where's Michelle? I can't find Michelle. Um, they're like muck boots, I'll show you. I'm well excited. They've got a half price sale on at the moment in the shop. Mm -hmm. Like a clearance, because the shop's shutting. So I bought loads of stuff, gloves, all sorts, one sec. Look how practical these babies are. Waterproof, in my size, for other things other than riding. I do think you could ride in them, but they are very comfortable and I'm very excited. What else did I buy? Bear in mind, this is all half price. So instead of 140 pounds, those were 70. Uh, bought some new gloves. These are my favorite gloves ever. And bought some new socks. Bought some new socks. Kingsland ones, they're just the thin ones that like go over your britches that don't feel very thick. And then what else did I buy? Oh, this was a random one. This was a random purchase. Some Sprenger diamond paste is for polishing your bit. Because why not? Anyway, yeah, so that's great. I've still got a little bit of a gap before I've got to get on Mo. It's 11.52 and I'm on at 12.39 so I don't need to be getting on her for a little while yet so 
Yeah, I'm gonna go find my friend whose rugs I bought. They were, anyway, you don't need to know that. Be back in a bit. Mo's turn again. Michelle didn't manage to video for fence number three. Lol. Anyway, really pleased with her. I actually added down a distance there, which was a bit not so good of me. She's difficult because she's very, very strong. So I end up wanting to kind of balance her, but then end up taking too much off the canter because it just feels fast. You see my face here. I'm like, ooh, ooh. She's dragging me. Um, I just think how nice the Equitex looks as I ride past. But she was better here. She came back to me and I definitely just forgot my flash strap and it does make a difference. She needs a little bit more support because otherwise the bridle kind of moves too much. Um, and I take a half hole and she just opens her chops and says, shut up, mother, I'm going fast. So, um, yeah, she rattled her way round. Rattled is the wrong word. Didn't touch a single pole anywhere, actually. And felt amazing, other than being very strong. Um, I definitely didn't try to go fast, but seemingly ended up going pretty quick. She, as you can see, is very pleased with herself. Moses, did you just go into the lead in the Discovery? We did get beaten very shortly afterwards, but I don't care. And I definitely was not trying to go fast. We were just trying to go slow, actually, because you're wild and I forgot my flash strap. She is crazy, but my I goodness, she loves it so much. Sorry. Uh, there's one in between his legs. Yeah. Obi's been having a tantrum on the lorry. Michelle said she could hear Obi shouting for his girlfriend. They live next to each other in the stables and everything. Anyway, she's so pleased. My miracle Mo. And she feels really good and sound and strong. And yeah, I think we need to jump some bigger jumps, don't we, Moses? She says yes, please. We also, in the shop, got this for Obi. Lovely, because... I don't know if he'll have caught it, no, but often he's actually been known to take chunks out of his stomach. Yes, a cob so careful, he kicks himself. Right, I'm gonna go and put my new Ariats on. Have I got time to get a pack, play a chips before we go home? Yeah, um, but uh, if you are gonna do that, then I'm gonna get, then some she's more got gloves. some jackets in there that I'm gonna use for the drivers. Uh, we got a rosette, we came second, and I got some sweet potato fries, and we are going home. What a lovely day. Oh, we need to put the ramparts on. I'll, be, I'll update one and back in the lorry. Here she is. Beautiful horse. Super speedy. Hello. Hello. Oh, not hot on the way home. So I uh, made it home just in time for a Zoom meeting. I was a little bit late, but uh, we did get back slightly later from the show than I had planned. Um, I'm going to leave this video here, not really much else to say. Um, I hope you enjoyed it, I certainly enjoyed my day and I hope that transfers over. Um, I will see you guys for next time, I don't even know what next video will be because, well, I don't know if we're going to go to any shows, but maybe it'll just be a day in the life at home because you guys like those so much. Anyway, thanks for being here, if you aren't already here like subscribing then please subscribe, hit like and I'll see you guys for next time. Thanks for watching, bye for now.